recording now. Thank you, ladies, so much. Okay, so I need to tell them don't uh, do no recordings for the next 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. Forward. Did you tell Miss Green we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm thinking you can sit down for so long. Um, I guess I have a lot of time to so long. I'm going to do it in an email. Okay, ladies. Have you ever considered the high cost of low teacher salary or the high percentage of teachers that rely on supplemental income as a second and a, uh, or even a third job? An article published by the New York Times reported an astonishing 62% of teachers work outside the classroom to make ends meet due to the low pay of teacher salary. My name is Shantasha Love, and I am an employee of the St. Louis Public School District, and I've been a teacher for 12 years. Now, according to salary.com, the average public school teacher salary in Missouri is $54,000. It also says that uh, Glassdoor.com indicates it is a premier job site. It reports that the national average salary for a teacher is 42000 as of January 2020. This puts the average teacher's pay equivalent to a toll taker or a high end bartender. The Missouri Department of Education reports that the average starting salary for a teacher in Missouri is 39000 The average ending salary after 25 years in the profession is 67000 So you must be asking, what is the high cost for such a low pay? And how does this high cost affect our students? It's going, it's not on the speed that I told it to, so it's going way, 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 way too slow. And I need it to go faster so that I can finish. Which are blank. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at them a little bit more often. Okay. Because you think, uh, yeah, I wrote, they yeah. Like they look blank? No, but okay. you're not using them. Okay. Okay. You found another white girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we limited here. You know, we ain't got that many of us here. We real limited. I know he going to be like, Miss Love, you always go over and above. You got four people instead of three. I, you're still in camera for you, so you good. Oh, okay. okay, ladies, I promise mm -hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> Have you ever considered the high cost of low teacher salaries or the high percentage of teachers that rely on the supplemental income of a second or even a third job? An article published by the New York Times reports that an astonishing 62% of teachers work outside the classroom make ends meet due to the low pay of teacher salary. My name is Shantasha Love and I am an employee of the St. Louis Public School District and I have been a teacher for 12 years. According to salary.com, the average public teacher's salary in Missouri is 54000 as of December 2018. Glassdoor.com, a premier job site service, reports that the national average salary for a teacher is 42000 as of January 20. This puts the average teacher's pay equivalent to a toll taker or even a high-end bartender. Mm -hmm. The Missouri Department of Education re re uh, reports the average starting salary for a teacher in Missouri is 39000 but the average ending salary after 25 years in the profession, $67,000. Mm -hmm. So you must be asking, what is the high cost for such low pay? And how does this high cost affect our students? The first effect would be the high cost of low teacher morale. Think about it. As I replayed my first teaching assignment, I recall being extremely excited and eager to get into my classroom. My students were just as eager and excited to learn. I would spend hours and hours preparing and reading books and articles and implementing various techniques that were geared towards increasing student engagement. But as time went by and the harsh reality of survival set in, the need to supplement my income became a harsh reality. Being that 62% of other teachers relate to my hardship, there are two problems that are affected by the high rise of teacher low morale. The first problem would be ineffective teaching. Think about it, after working six hours in the classroom and then another five to eight hours 
the same day and another job, then repeating the same schedule five times a week, and then maybe a third job on the weekend, it is an unrealistic expectation for a teacher to put in the same rigorous hours of preparation for the classroom. The teacher has not incorporated any form of self-care, has no proper or adequate family time for loved ones or their spouse, not to mention the additional responsibility of a single parent with school-aged children. This lack of rejuvenation will definitely spill into the classroom. Therefore, instead of insightful hands-on assignments, engaging content enrichment, this drained out teacher now has to rely on simple textbook assignments and reused worksheets, causing students to now actively teach themselves. Now, you may be saying, wherein lies the problem? The students are learning, right? Well, I'm so glad you asked. This brings me to my second problem. Because the students are so unchallenged in the classroom and teaching themselves, we now have the problem of standardized test scores being low. The teacher has become labeled as a bad teacher and is either fired or quit. A shocking 46% of teachers quit within their fifth year. So who's applying for such high pressure jobs for such low pay? Well, the same New York Times article reports that college graduates who have other options think that this kind of pressure for such low pay makes absolutely no sense. Therefore, low teacher's pay has affected the eminence and stability of good quality teachers, which has caused a nationwide shortage of good teachers, particularly affecting the urban school district that serves the majority of African American children. A consulting firm, McKinsey, polled 900 top tier American college students and found out that 68% of them would consider being a teacher if the salary rose to 65,000 starting. Could we do this? If we were committed to winning futures, uh, winning our futures, we should do this, reports David Egger with the New York Times. As teachers, we truly, are we truly committed to winning the future or are we just committed to paying our bills? Now here are two other uh, problems that are associated with the rise of teacher shortage. The, fir the first problem that I would mention is the overpopulation of the classroom. Now, principals are forced to overpopulate our classroom because even though we have a shortage of teachers, students still must attend school and learning still has to take place. And although I consider myself to be a great teacher, when factoring the teacher-student ratio, the question here is how effective is my teaching? Secondly, not only is there a shortage of teachers, but there is a major shortage of male teachers. According to the article published by edsource.org, the California Department of Education reports that fewer than 27% of their teachers in the states are male, and 51% of their children in the school are boys. And of that, only 3.2% of those are uh, men in elementary school. See, my theory is based on this information. Men have decided that they can't teach because they can't support their families and their incomes. Therefore, most men seek other occupations that are better suitable for provision. As was the story of the education of Richard Rodriguez. Rodriguez was a literary scholar and a teacher uh, who left teaching so that he could be an essayist. However, this masculine inequality in education is devastating because it is vitally crucial for male students to see supportive men in their lives. By modeling these character traits, male teachers can shape their students' ethical compass and might even inspire them to become great leaders. But the question here, what will this cost his own children? How will this affect their stability or their livelihood? After working both jobs, will he have time for his own son? In conclusion, although I must admit that I too am a participant in the 62% of teachers that have a second income, I've taken the necessary precautions to make sure that I'm certain to balance both my career, my part-time job, my single life, because being in education for 12 years, teaching has just become a part of my natural makeup. I have come to appreciate both the highs and the lows of education and I fully understand the sacrifices that we as teachers make every day to win our future. But as I know that even though that I am a great teacher and I absolutely love my job, there is one question that I cannot answer and there's one lesson that I refuse to teach. My son asked me last week, Mom, can I be a teacher like my dad? Ooh, thank you.